Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. And this week over the interweb, we have the wonderful John Bowler. John, hello, how are you? Hi, Greg, I'm very well, thank you. Yourself? I'm, I'm very well, thank you. I'm Good. frustrated at various things in the world at the moment, <laughs> but, um, you know, we're, we're, we're getting through that. We're, we're learning to live with frustration, is what I find. Indeed. I'm just very frustrated that we're, we're not able to offer the level of service that we, we, we used to be able to offer, and it's just purely because of COVID, the backlog, the number of orders, and not being able to get more people into the building. So. Um, but yeah. other than that, and stock shortages and things like that, but other than that, um, everything is good. How's everything with you? Yes, yes, very good, very good. Similarly, we've, uh, we, we, we get the feedback that there are stock shortages everywhere. Um, it's, uh, it's nobody's fault. It, yeah. it's, you know, it's the way of the world at the moment with uh, COVID combined with uh, a lack of containers to ship stuff on and so on and so forth. It does make it very difficult. And no. I know that... Uh, it's very hard for people to get hold of stock at the moment, but yeah, um, just yeah. keep trying. Yeah, and a little sprinkling of Brexit as well, just to, to keep it fun. So, yeah, yes, indeed. It's, it's been interesting, hasn't indeed. it? Anyway, yeah. thanks yeah, for doing right. this. Thanks for doing this today. I had a look at the last time, or the first time we, we chatted, and it was introduce, introducing you to the BMTV Nation, uh, however much smaller it was uh, back then. It was four and a half years ago, John. I, I, I really can't believe that. It does seem like, like yesterday. Um, but I thought, obviously, there's, there's been a lot more people join the industry in the last year and over the last few years since, since we last um, introduced you. And I just thought it'd be quite a good opportunity for you to, to, to be seen by the bigger balloon market community. So uh, BMTV community as well. So, um, yeah, that's what I thought we'd do, if that's all right with you. Sounds great to me, Greg. It, it, uh, I, I can't believe it's been four and a half years. It does feel like it was only a few weeks ago. I know. It's absolutely um, crazy. But, so. yeah. But yeah. yeah. It's a long time since we've actually been able to come down and see you personally as well. I know. So. I know. I do miss that. The sooner we can do that again. Absolutely. And, and do you remember going out for food? Do you remember that? Ah, good times. <laughs> anyway. Um, yes. So I think to start with, um, assuming that there's a lot of people watching that don't have any idea who you are. Do you want to tell people who you are, how long you've been in the industry and, and what you do now? I don't think I want to tell them how long I've been in the industry because it makes me sound very old. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I've been around a long time. Um, I suppose actually it's, it's over 30 years now that I've been in the industry and I've been through all aspects of it. I, from being a, a, a street vendor um, mm -hmm. a, a decorator, doing weddings, parties, corporate functions, through to being a wholesaler, distributor, which I did for a, a number of years and set up a, a, what was at that time, it was a very, very busy uh, wholesale mm -hmm. unit, very much like yourself now, um, mm. except not online as you are, it was uh, the old fashioned walk-in method. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I went from there, I then worked for manufacturers, I've worked for Qualitex, um, I now work for Premium Balloon Accessories. Um, I'm, I am the, uh, the key contact uh, in the UK and Europe for Premium Balloon Accessories. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if people have any questions or queries on their products, then I'm the one that they need to get in touch with and uh, I'm happy to help. And in, throughout all of that, uh, um, I set up BAPIA, Balloon and Party Industry Alliance, which is it's a trade organization um, put in place to work for the balloon industry and work for our members mm -hmm. to try and create greater awareness of the balloon and party industry and what we can do and how professionals can create, make, make a massive difference to any uh, party function, product launch, corporate event, whatever it be. Um, you know, balloons and party uh, accessories make a huge difference. And mm -hmm. so we, we're out to promote our members and we want to bring benefits to them as well. And we bring a number of significant benefits to our members mm -hmm. um, and we're constantly looking to grow those. Um, and yeah, we, we, we like to think we're doing everything right. Clearly nobody does everything right, but we try our hardest mm -hmm. and we always try to be there for them and to help them. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've tried to support them quite a lot through this COVID crisis as well. Yeah. Um, which has been difficult for everybody, uh, but you know we've all had to try and make our way through it. 
and we've done as much as we can to support them um, and we'll continue to do so yeah. uh, as long as this goes on and you know if whatever else arises in the future we hope that we'll be able to support them and continue to their, with their growth. Well I'd like to I'd like to come back to Bapia because I think you do a great job for the industry and I, I think you've you. you've really supported everybody um, throughout this this pandemic and before and just the extra benefits that you keep adding to, to membership I think it's it's great but before we do that I do just want to go back to premium obviously you work for premium and you are yep. the key contact here um, I just wanted to talk very briefly about I mean the, the key premium products that we sell are some of the inflators and I know we did the show um, a while ago, was it last year in the summer? Maybe I think we did it. Yes, when we were allowed to be face to face or side by side with a screen in between us. We were. Well, it was just as this was this whole COVID thing was kicking off, wasn't it? Yeah. So we, um, yeah, we did we did a show on that, and we had quite a lot of those inflators. But the inflators from Premium are, would it be fair to say, uh, some of the the higher end ones um, on the market? They are, they, they are, I mean, they're, they're proving themselves to be um, worth every penny, pretty yeah. much. They are, uh, you've got things like the twin air sizer, which is becoming, if you like, I suppose, the, the go-to choice of many, many professionals. Mm -hmm. um, it does everything you'd want it to do. Uh, and then you get the backup, you know, as premium, we will support you. Uh, yeah. So yeah, absolutely, they are becoming the go-to choice of many, many people, uh, yeah. which is great. And, and it's, you know, we like to think that we, we do a good job with it. Um, we're also, we, we have a number of accessories as well that people use a lot of things, such as the, the maxi cups and sticks. Mm -hmm. so I know they're in short supply at the moment. That's, that's due to shipping issues. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've got the stock and we are trying to ensure that everybody gets hold of uh, what they need. Um, so, but yeah, we, we as premium, we've we, we we do try very hard to bring top quality products yeah. to the industry and new and innovative products as well. I think the inflators are amazing, and the the, the twin air is is being described by many as another employee. Um, but I, yeah. and I think it just it just helps so much and so many people. And whilst it's a bit of an outlay at the beginning. I don't know anybody that has ever bought one that has regretted buying one. So um, I think that says yeah. a lot. And if anybody does want to find out a little bit more, um, you can have a look back at that show. And there are other shows as well, or other videos um, that you've got for premium that actually show the individual um, inflators as well. So we'll, we'll list those down below as well. So yeah. um, yes, um, so Bapia now, I mean, that's, a, that's, that's becoming you know, a, a bit of a, a beast, isn't it? it? It seems to be you're getting quite a few people um, becoming members and it's it's going quite well. Because how old is it now? Is it 10 years yet? We've we've passed the 10 year mark okay. now, yes. Um, which is, uh, again, uh, I'm, you know, I'm very pleased at that. And I, it's great to see it still growing mm -hmm. and that we are getting more members um, all the time. Uh, and we we are committed to it absolutely yeah. committed to it um, to make it work and to make it a benefit for members not not you know it's for no other reason than they have to I, I truly believe that whether they whether you are a a retailer a decorator or a wholesaler or a manufacturer I truly believe that you have to get a benefit from membership mm -hmm. otherwise it's not worth it I think that you have to look at it every year whenever your renewal comes up and say well, okay, that's what I get. Yeah, absolutely. It's well worth the membership fee. Yeah. Or even to the point where you say, well, the membership fee is, is nothing in comparison to what I get in return. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I can save that money back in whether it's, you know, whether it's for the insurance, which is, again, it's, it's uh, an easy decision to make, really. But yeah. the insurance and the, the discounts and the other benefits that are available to you, I, I believe that people should look at it and they should be able to go every year. Absolutely, I will renew that because it's worth every single penny. Yeah. Um, or I know that I'm going to get my money back in other ways. Yeah. Um, I, th I think I think with our customers, we've got some customers that have basically got their membership fee back on their single order with us because of the discount that they get from being a member. So 
And so exactly. you're not actually losing anything because if you weren't a member, you'd be paying the, the full price and you pay the discounted price and you get, you're getting membership for free effectively, aren't you? And yeah. as and you that, say, the insurance. That, that means, yeah, you get your insurance and your insurance would cost you more than the membership fee, yeah. but it, that's, you know, the, <clears throat> um, people don't always equate that, but certainly when you take out the discounts, you think, well, yeah, absolutely. Why, why would you not be a member? Yeah, uh, yeah. So, it's, but then, you know, uh, clearly I'm always going to be biased, but uh, yeah, I think there are a number of people out there who would, who would argue the same thing and, and they would say, yep, absolutely, it's worth every single penny. Yeah, And that's yeah. what we try to make it. We try to make it worth every penny and that people can see it very clearly. Because you're very visible. You're, you're there for people on any of the Facebook groups. You're happy to jump in and, and answer questions. Um, and of course, Sue, Mrs. Bowler, um, <laughs> uh, gets in, involved with, with that as well. And um, for those of you that are, if you are new to the industry and you don't know Sue Bowler, you will very soon just look back <laughs> at some BMTVs and um, but Sue has been in the industry um, also quite a quite a while isn't hasn't she so indeed uh, she has and, indeed and she her, has. her knowledge and experience combined with your knowledge and experience just makes for a a, a fantastic team there at Bapia so uh, you were talking about support for everybody throughout this this pandemic um, as Bapia do you want to share a little bit about what you've you've done through the period yeah, we uh, initially it was when, when this whole thing started to kick off, and you could see that there were going to be problems, and that there were going to be lockdowns, and people were going to start losing business. Um, you know, we want we we genuinely said we've got to do something. We need to do whatever we can. We can't just sit here and say, "Oh well, say la vie." Um, so initially, we offered members. We said, "Look, you know, we'll if you if you have not got the work coming in, if it's then talk to us and we will we'll give you two months free membership. Um, keep you on the books and you can stay as a member, no problem, two months mm -hmm. free. Um, because we want to help. It's very we, generous. And it's, it, it's a funny thing, you know, people, uh, um, it always sounds very cheesy in that we want to help, but we genuinely believed that we had to, we had to do something. Mm -hmm. We couldn't just sit there and, and, you know, let people carry on having to pay their, their membership and stuff. It's, it wasn't fair, it wasn't right. So we said no, for those of you, and you know, there were, there were a number who took that and that's absolutely fine, we had absolutely no problem with that. There was mm -hmm. no no issue, we offered it and we meant it. We truly, truly meant it. Yeah. But similarly, at the same time, there were a number of members who said, no, John, we still have money coming in, we're still trading, absolutely, we will continue to pay our membership. Mm -hmm. um, it, so it, it was a two-way street mm. you know we were we were helping one another um and we've we've tried to do that all the way through and you know there are still people who are members who are may still be self-isolating may still not be able to work so we've we've also said to them if you're not working then talk to us and you know we can maybe defer your 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 membership so you can stay on the books you can have all the benefits without the insurance cover we can have all the other benefits, but we won't, you know, you don't have to pay anything for a, a period of time. Yeah. Just to try and help them through it, to, to keep them going, um, and to keep them in touch with the the, the industry. Because, yeah. th again, there are a lot of people out there who who really do enjoy the communication that they have with others and through the Facebook group and the general sort of um, to and fro of, of being within the industry they would miss it massively mm -hmm. and they have no, they don't want to leave the industry they just cannot work at the moment so we've said fine we'll work with you on that mm -hmm. we'll, we'll help try and do whatever we can to help you through it um, we've also we started laying on some uh, webinars as well oh when do we start the first one we did was actually with Sue she did uh, a social media and a uh, Canva yeah two, two webinars and from there we've had People like Chris Adamo, um, Jackie Ochitwa, Christopher Horn, mm -hmm. uh, Bob Armstrong, um, who else was there? Uh, Melanie Allen. So we've had a number of people doing videos and we've got another one coming up. Lucy Hennessy did the last one for us. Um, and we've recorded these and we've got them uh, linked to the, the website uh, mm -hmm. so that people will be able to go back and watch them again. So we brought those to people again to give them inspiration, to give them ideas. Um, to give them some some more techniques, mm -hmm. 
Um, we've also, we had, again, I think with the, with COVID, COVID taught a lot of people that they do need to have terms and conditions in place in, on their, in their business. So we invested in having some terms and conditions drawn up. Yeah. yeah. And we've again made those free to members so they can use those in their business um, so that, you know, they are protected or that at least everybody knows where they stand mm -hmm. should something else occur. Um, yeah. So we've we've tried to, to support them in, in a number of different ways and, and try and bring more more benefits. We've um, we've invested in some social media campaigns, so mm -hmm. Instagram and Facebook. We've invested in some sponsored adverts, mm -hmm. whereby we're trying to promote Bapia members, so that the public, who are massively demanding balloons now, there's such a huge demand Absolutely. for them. So we're trying to make them even more aware to the members of the public that balloons are available and they're available through uh, balloon professionals uh, through Bapia. So yeah. the aim is that they follow the, the, the advert through and they come through and search our website, find their local balloon professional and we put one in touch with the other. Yeah. So we hope that, and we, we have seen, we, we can't track it all the way through, but we, we have seen a significant number of uh, um, people joining the web or coming onto the website on that page on the search page. Oh, right, okay. That's so good. that suggests to us that uh, we're we're seeing a great success from that, and hope we hope that at the end of it, members are getting uh, some good uh, leads from it and uh, earning some money out of it. Yeah, and getting yeah. some work. Yeah, we point people to that um, so, page all the time, so it's a it's a very yeah. good resource. And of course, as your membership grows you effectively get greater coverage over the whole of the UK, so... Yes, no, yeah, that's indeed. Great. So, you know, so we hope that they have benefited from it and we continue to look for these things, um, that we, you know, we hopefully grow the business, grow the, sorry, not grow the, grow the industry, grow the membership and grow our members' business as well. Mm, um, mm. And that's, that's the aim, that's the target. Yeah, no, I think it's great, John. I think um, you've done a, a fantastic, a fantastic job of of um, supporting the the industry. And I think uh, it, going back to what you were saying about talking to people and their individual situations, I think that's the communication is is absolutely key. And that's what people have. They they you know you you're not a, a person in some huge organisation. It you are the person that people can talk to and get decisions straight away. So I think that's great. And you yeah. are available and you do respond to people. It's the same um, with premium. If, you know, if somebody wants to, somebody's got a problem with one of the inflators, they can contact you. You're here in the UK, you respond to emails, you respond to phone calls. I mean, every time you've been down here, absolutely, you, you get a phone call from somebody and you, you're always supporting them. So I, I think communication yeah. is absolutely one of the, the, the key things that, Sounds simple, but is is very very important to people, particularly during these times. Yeah, and I, I, it's interesting. Again, this morning I've been on the phone with with you know a few inquiries, and it's I actually really enjoy talking to the people. Yeah, it's uh, there were there were a, a, a couple of, of um, women who are wanted to join, and they've. I've actually had communication with them now, I think four or five times this morning. Um, mm -hmm. And if you're listening, I, I apologize, I'm not picking on you. I think you're actually great. Um, but they, they said to me, oh, you know, you're, we're your worst nightmare. And I said, you're not, you really are not. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I, I enjoy talking to people. Yeah. Um, I, so yeah, it, it's not a problem. I should probably regret this now. I should probably have be inundated with phone calls, <laughs> people wanting to chat. But, but I do, I, I you know, I, I've, I've been in the industry a long time. I enjoy it. I always have, um, and so I'm, I'm more than happy to talk to people about it, share information about it, and help if I can. Um, yeah. So absolutely. Yeah. No, absolutely. I think the breadth of your experience just lends itself to to you being in this in this position and Sue as well together as a team. I think it's mm. it's it's fantastic. So um, yeah, that's great. And going back to the conditions, the terms and conditions. I mean, I remember when we had our terms and conditions done years ago, 10 years ago, it was 400 pounds just for that. So that's a, yeah. a saving um, right there. So that's, it, that's, that's great. 
I think that's, yeah. that's really, really good, John. Well, you deserve yeah. all the success that you are getting. Um, and it's, it is supporting. I think if you support the industry, that's, that's what's going to happen. And you do definitely feel part of something, I have to say, on Bapia, on the Facebook page. There is definitely a good vibe. That's what we want to, to, to happen. We've, we've actually, you know, we know we've got people on the Facebook group who are very willing and happy to help and support others. Um, yeah. And, we've, you know, we have some, I can only describe them as probably some significant names on there um, who are very willing to, to step up and support uh, and answer questions. Yeah. And yeah. we actually created as well a, a mentoring and support Facebook group mm-hmm. uh, where people who were less experienced in the industry could ask questions. And again, there are people on there very, very willing and happy to answer those questions. Um, so it, it just means that, you know, people do feel like there is a community and there is support out there. And at the moment with the lack of training that's available, um, you know, hands-on training, mm-hmm. people do want to learn. They want to see new bits and pieces. They want to understand how they can grow their business. And, I, you know, there are, a lot of new people in the industry without question mm-hmm. and they've they haven't been able to get the training that they they want but they will be able to get that soon yeah and you know I, I think that as time goes on because of what covid's done it, it's brought greater awareness to balloons and to deliveries mm-hmm. i think that in itself has grown the industry massively um and yeah. I think we will see that hopefully I, I, that people will, for all future events, will have balloons at whatever their celebration is and it will be a major part of anything they do. So yeah. wherever they, where I, I saw something the other day and I just felt it, it was actually, I think it was one of, one of ours, but um, it, it was saying that without balloons, celebration is not a celebration mm. you know and so I think now that the public have become even more aware of that we'll see more parties weddings and, and functions with decor with greater yeah. emphasis on the party side of it yeah. um, and so you know the fact that there are more people in the industry now actually potentially has a great uh, potential to grow the industry because mm-hmm. the more people see it the more people will want it and they'll buy it um, and so hopefully we all then benefit from that yeah but, uh, Abs- but yeah absolutely. it's yeah. we we do we genuinely genuinely want our members to feel welcome to feel a part of a, a community and that's what we aim to aim to achieve and hopefully we yeah. do that yeah no you do a fine job of it john fine job thank you um regarding the industry i think it's I mean, as a as a wholesaler uh, and distributor here in the in the UK, we have seen a, a massive surge, particularly during lockdowns. I mean, if, if we're a barometer in any way, the industry is effectively booming. I know it's more difficult. I know you can't go out and do a a, a ten thousand pound decor job um, or a five thousand pound decor job, and some of the the orders might be small, but you can still do you know a delivery. Um, for you know a couple of hundred pounds depending what it is Mm -hmm. I mean I've seen some fantastic pieces of work out there that people are doing that you just wouldn't have seen two three years ago they didn't exist and and I know it's new technology different types of balloons like the chrome and and different shapes and different sizes different techniques that people are using and they're just amazing and you look at these things and if you're a consumer you must look at it and think how can that be made of balloons because yeah. it's not your traditional balloon shape so yeah I think it's absolutely amazing what people are doing and it shows that how how adaptable we are in the industry and how people have adapted so well during these times so we'll see yeah. what happens when the shops open again though so I, I hope it continues I think it's it's gone like that and I think when the shops open it'll come down a little bit and settle but hopefully we'll still be at a higher point than we were before that's what I I think might happen but I, 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 I agree with that and I, I but I think what will also happen is because the the shops may then um, particularly some of the chains uh, they may take away some of that delivery yeah. uh, business but then it opens up with with the, the restarting of, of functions and weddings and 
events, yeah. then that opens up a whole new field of work that has been closed down for 12 months. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, people will go from doing deliveries, hopefully they'll still be doing lots of deliveries, but on top of that, they will now then have work at the weekends, or in fact, not just weekends now, because weddings are, have crept right into the midweek yeah. um, with that, you know, the shortage of dates, availability. So um, I think we will see more decor coming through, mm -hmm. uh, larger decor, and then you've got shops reopening, shops wanting to uh, re-announce themselves, as it were, and so there'll be corporate uh, uh, events taking place. I think it is just potentially going to boom yeah, uh, yeah. over the next 12 months, yeah. uh, which I think is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And like you say, with these people that are new to the industry that haven't had access to face-to-face to -face training, when that kicks off again, I've got a feeling there's going to be lots of training going on. And hopefully <laughs> some of it down here at, uh, at Balloon Market. Um, but yes. I think, um, yeah, I, I, and when they get trained and they've got the confidence, which is what I've always said that training gives you more than anything else, is the confidence to go out there and do something, then, agree. yeah, I, I agree. I, I think um, the future definitely does look bright so yes no fantastic particularly if you remember bapia john with bapia membership costs at the current time how much it's 160 pounds plus vat which is 192 pounds in total yeah um uh, or you can do a 12 monthly payment plan of 15 pounds plus fat a month uh, which is 18 pounds a month um so so yeah and it uh we we can you know virtually guarantee that you'll get your money back um one way or another well well so, worth it yeah absolutely yeah. well worth it yeah well john thank you so much for that i could just carry on talking to you all afternoon but um we don't we don't I'd really be happy have, to greg we, we don't really <laughs> have have the time to do that or the um hard disk space so um no. <laughs> that's what we've got to do anyway I, I always say that you've got to ask a question of the week when you're a guest on BMTV. And I, See, and you, you didn't warn me again, Greg. You just you. didn't so, warn you me. Mean, you mean Matt didn't warn you? I'm going to no. blame Matt on this one. Sorry, Matt. I know. You always blame somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's never my fault, except it is every time. Yeah. Have you, yeah, have you got so, a question you would like to ask the BMTV nation? See, now at this point, I'm hoping that Matt will be able to cut the film and then just give me half an hour to think about it and add the question in later on. Well, we could, we could do that, John, but, but that I'm, just makes it boring, so... I'm sure you won't allow me to do that, no. <laughs> um, okay, question... Of, okay, here we go. Um, what, in your business, what do you most aspire to? What do you want to achieve most of all in your business? Excellent one, yeah. So what would you, what are you aspiring to for your business? Great. John, thank you so much for that. And uh, hopefully we'll get to, to see each other face to face, side by side with a screen, whatever, at some point in the next, in the next few months. In the near future. Yeah. Yes, that'd crossed. be great. Look forward to it, Greg. Yeah. And everybody out there, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you've not subscribed, please do hit subscribe, hit the little bell icon and be notified every time we upload a video. And while you're there, why don't you just follow us on Instagram or what's the other one? Facebook. Um, anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Stay safe. Stay happy. Bye. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, everybody.